wheezing and shortness of breath, headaches, nausea, irritation of the skin, and mucous membranes. Now compare Calben Pure Soap. All natural, earth friendly, no harsh chemicals, no animal testing. They're safe, and you save 85% of the money you're spending on cleaning products now. Start saving over $1,000 a year for your family of four. Keep it natural. Call Calvin Pure Soap for a free catalog at 1-800-340-7091 or log on to 5starsoap.com. Try Calvin Pure Soaps and I'll bet you'll never use any other cleaning products again. Call 1-800-340-7091 for all your cleaning needs. A day unlike any other in the long course of American history, a terrorist act of war against this country. The enemy struck America on September 11th. But who is the enemy? Bin Laden. This is his M.O. We have to look to the Middle East. We have to look to Osama bin Laden. Fabled Enemies is the first 9-11 film to take a close look at the terrorist ties to intelligence networks inside the United States. Some U.S. investigators believe that there are Israelis again very much engaged in spying in and on the U.S. I'm aware that uh, some Israeli citizens have been detained. Bin Laden's connections to the CIA, the hijacker's ties to the FBI, the Saudi Arabian connection, the Israeli intelligence network, warnings and war games, the shadow government, and much, much more. Fabled enemies. Get the DVD at Infowars.com or see it in super high quality, along with hundreds of other titles at PrisonPlanet.tv. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. There is growing evidence that Americans would have better health and a lower incidence of cancer and fibrocystic disease of the breast if they consumed more iodine. Nutriodine iodine is formulated to work with your body to help to stimulate proper hormonal balance and can assist in detoxification from fluoride, bromide, and chloride toxins and helps provide protection from radioactive iodine from nuclear fallout. Nutriodine is made with a proprietary high-energy field from pure crystalline iodine. Nutriodine should be used by all ages every day. If you suffer from chronic fatigue, low thyroid, and mitochondria function, or if you just want to feel better from day to day, Nutriodine drops are for you. There are several forms of iodine. Nutriodine is the only trusted source. Available now by calling 888-212-8871. That's 888-212-8871. Or order online at Nutramedical.com. That's N-U-T-R-I medical.com. Nutramedical.com. Your source for the most powerful nutraceuticals and wellness protocols. From a doctor you can trust. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. He was White House counsel to Ronald Reagan. He's a Peter J. Wallison, coordinator of the American Enterprise Institute's program on financial markets, deregulation. Wallison studies banking, insurance, and the Wall Street regulation as general counsel of the U.S. Treasury Department. He had a significant role in the development of the Reagan administration's proposals for the deregulation of the financial services industry. He was also general counsel of the Depository Insurance Deregulation Committee and later served, again, as White House counsel to President Ronald Reagan. His latest book is The Competitive uh, Equality, uh, a, a Better Way to Organize Mutual Funds, or a Competitive uh, Equity, excuse me. And so he joins us uh, from the American Enterprise Institute for Public policy research um what in the world from your perspective is going on right now and uh which direction in, in your opinion is washington going and is that in the right direction uh well it depends on the area we are talking about um i think the stimulus package looks like it is going in the right direction because the republicans are finally beginning to influence uh things in the senate uh, they obviously lost out completely in the House, but uh, it was nice to see that all the Republicans stuck together and voted against what came out of the House, which was simply a pork barrel bill, uh, the usual Democratic pork barrel. And I think the latest polls indicate the American people have recognized it as such. Um, so things are looking a little bit better on the stimulus side. I'd say from Obama's point of view, things are really falling apart because uh, what happened to him shouldn't happen to a person who had any kind of sophistication in Washington. Um, and uh, I don't know where his advisors were on this, but he allowed the House of Representatives to shape his stimulus bill. And he then had to go out and tell the American people things that weren't true. 
this is not good for the, for the way to start your administration. You shouldn't go out and lie to the American people about what one of your legis- one of what you one of what your policies is going to do. They figure it out very quickly. So now the Senate has gotten hold of it. There is a lot of debate going on there. It looks like there will be some some changes to make it much more tax friendly, more Republican taxes going into it, uh, fewer um, pork barrel projects that came out of the House. Obama will take a big whipping on this one, and uh, maybe he will have learned a lesson, but this is almost irretrievable. You know the old expression, and that is that uh, you never have a second chance to make a first impression. And uh, what the American people are seeing now in Obama is a completely different uh, view than what they had seen during the campaign. Or you never get a fourth chance to make a third impression. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, I don't see this as his first big blowout. Almost all of his cabinet or sub-cabinet positions haven't paid their taxes entirely or partially and are having to uh, resign in droves before they're ever even uh, confirmed. I would call that the first big disaster. And then now uh, people are finding out millions of dollars in Austin, Texas, where I live, for Frisbee golf. Uh, hundreds of millions for a river boardwalk, uh, tens of millions for a golf course expansion, uh, yacht clubs, uh, Hollywood producer uh, money. I, I, I mean, this is the worst pork barrel I've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. And uh, that it's it's uh, look for for me, for other Republicans, it is kind of humorous to see this happen. But uh, on the other hand, I mean, we only have one president. And uh, I do get a little bit worried that he he um, is is losing control of the situation. If we were not in if we were not in such bad economic straits right now, if things were not uh, really desperate in terms of the economy, then I wouldn't care one way or the other. But um, unfortunately, uh, we have to have someone who speaks with one voice for the American government, and uh, he's. He's quickly losing his political capital to get the American people to believe him. Well, he got where he is because he's a great actor and a great performer, and he did what he was told in the Senate. But now those instincts to say yes, yes, yes to everybody, those are the same instincts that made George Bush triple the size of government uh, with the Democrats and destroyed his presidency. And it looks like Obama is looking to top that. Uh, can you speak to that specifically and then uh, give us your uh, political uh, take on uh, most of the people he's trying to get in the cabinet and having to step down? Um, well, uh, yeah, let me just talk about the spending. The spending is going to be, it's going to be terrible if, if Obama allows himself to be taken for a ride again by the Democrats in Congress. He's got to make a choice now. I mean, he, he, has, he has got to show the American people, who are quite concerned about spending, uh, that, that he's got a handle on this thing, and he's nobody's tool. What, what happened to him on the, on the uh, stimulus package is that the, the, um, Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats simply harnessed him to go out and tell the American people that what they had written up in this bill uh, was a stimulus package, and that soon uh, got old. I mean, people recognized that that was not true. So um, he's, he's going to be in, in, in very, very bad shape. What, however, uh, is happening elsewhere in his administration is also troubling to him, as you suggest. I mean, it, it isn't actually all his appointees or even a majority of appointees, but some very important ones didn't pay their taxes. Um, Geithner, who was Tim Geithner, who was the nominee for Secretary of the Treasury, got through despite the fact that he had quite clearly um, ignored his tax obligations. That is a, a remarkable thing that uh, could happen because when I was at the Treasury Department, if there was the hintest, uh, the slightest hint uh, that a person had not met his tax obligations, um, the before he applied to have a job of any kind, I don't care whether you're, whether you're talking about clipping hedges or you're talking about a, 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 an assistant secretary's job, uh, if you hadn't observed your tax obligations, you were out. You never, never even got for an interview. Um, and here we have the Secretary of the Treasury 
uh, who has set a very, very bad example. He's, he's well, lost whatever moral authority he might have had. Well, and going back, to be specific, it's quite a few of the cabinet and sub-cabinet people that haven't made taxes. You're right, it's not uh, you know all of them are the majority, but it's a large portion of prominent ones. I was kind of mixing in there other people having a step down like... Uh, New Mexico Governor Bill Richardson for yep. you know all these bizarre payments from lobbyists and then him right. getting them big. So I mean it's just uh, and then you got Blagojevich tied to him. You got Ram Emanuel tied into all this. I mean this looks like Chicago big city machine on steroids now inhabiting D.C. Yeah, no, it's not good. It's not good. Um, and uh, he's he's got to get control of this thing and. Uh, and show the American people that he's actually trying to have an administration of the kind he talked about and that, that he hasn't fooled them. Um, this is what happened to Bill Clinton. Um, and uh, you remember that Clinton became exceedingly popular, uh, unpopular, right after he became president. And why was that? And that is.